Hi, I'm Aditya and this is the best possible roadmap for any beginner in image processing which also happens to be my journey from noob or nobody in image processing to leading my own college team which is by the way fully sponsored to IGVC ground vehicle competition which is taking place at University of Michigan USA. So in the directory that I have over here minimized I have the image processing folder inside which I have stored all my progress there is full image uh, bird size bird side view other than the weird nomenclature of the file names what is there to be noticed is the last modified date so i began my progress on 22nd august 2020 and ended on 18th december 2020 uh, let's ignore that today over here there was some error on that file so i had to fix it uh, right before the, making this video so that the video doesn't end up weird so uh, it's almost a six months of period uh, for the entire progress I did. So it is what I am going to say pretty much doable by anybody and definitely a worth it. But uh, in image processing, a uh, perfect roadmap is, um, I would say, pretty much a large fraction of the game. Uh, if you don't have the perfect roadmap or a nice roadmap, you can just end up lost somewhere in the image processing working hard and never ending with anything productive so that is what the aim of this video is to uh, show you the perfect roadmap for image processing so let's check out the program files on visual studio editor so over here i have birds different versions in ascending order of their numerical values pretty much that matches the date and time so let's start with uh, y.py. I began that file before everything. So I was just beginning with OpenCV. And what I did over the, here in this file was uh, just opened up uh, an image on I am show window. And any key on the keyboard will kill the, just kill the program and close the window. The first challenging program that I did in image processing was birds.py. I'll explain this program briefly. So what I've done over here is at the top I have done, I've drawn four circles uh, using cv2.circle. In the while loop, what I've done is applied perspective transformation to obtain the bird's eye view. And I didn't stop there. I also have applied, uh, I have also done changes in color model. I have converted RGB color model to HSV color model and applied thresholding as well. And I will run, I'll run this program and will show you what this program is about. So uh, this is the case T1 and this is the solution T1 solve. So uh, the image, original image was uh, T1-case and I have applied perspective transformation to obtain the bird's eye or top view of the image. The four points uh, show the area I have selected for transformation and the area enclosed by that four points is transformed to the top view that is bird's eye view and therefore the name of the directory was given bird's eye view and the files state birds start birds to birds three and so on so it's like the computer whose actual meaning was calculator and it became something else but the name stayed uh, that is what happened to this directory over here that I'm sharing with you all. Moving on to the next file that is birds2.py. So when I open this file, I see create trackbar. So even though the name is birds2.py, I believe I have done birds3.py before this. So I'll first show that. So birds3.py, in birds3.py what I've done is I have tested the open cv to display the video file on a on a on a window after birds 3.py i did project track bars and in this what i've done is applied thresholding to hsv image i converted rgb color space color model image to hsv color model image and then with the use of track bars i applied thresholding to the video so here I have the result screen, uh, the mask and the frame and the track bars. 
So in this trackbars window, U stands for upper, L stands for lower, and HSV stands for HSV. So uh, I have, I am going to make changes to the trackbars, and the corresponding changes are quite visible on the result screen and the mask screen, which is being applied to the frame screen. So even though I am playing with the trackbars randomly, but object detection is taking place. Only the track is being detected in the results, as you can clearly see. All the objects are being ignored. So that is what we do in image processing using thresholding we detect the object we are interested in so let's move forward to our next program or rather come back to birds2.py so i'll quickly run this program and okay it's showing an error about trap 6 so this error occurs because of this cap is equal to cv2.video capture 0 uh, this is because the terminal that is present in visual studio code doesn't have the permission to access the webcam in uh, webcam of the Mac. So in order to overcome this error, what I have to do is use the terminal of the MacBook OS and it will perfectly work fine. But I'll just skip that part. I've done nothing in this program but applied image thresholding using trackpass to not a video but mm, the live feed from the webcam. So in birds 4.1, what I did is to the perspective transformed image I applied sliding windows using histograms uh, that was available in the numpy library so uh, I'll show you the output so here we have the sliding windows the rectangles moving on the screen and it's nothing but a little bit of thresholding of the image perspective transformation and applying sliding windows using histograms from numpy so a little bit of use of numpy along with opencv and a fine attractive output so uh, it's quite clear where we are moving uh, we are moving towards an autonomous driving vehicle and the project is share, beginning to shape a little bit so the next program we have is birds5.py and in this what I did was uh, applied a little bit of numpy uh, to get some equations and then again perspective normal uh, reverse the perspective changed using opencv to get the nice output that I have I'll show you. The aim was to obtain the steering angle and the deviations. So the this is completely wrong. The highlighted portion should have been in the road. So I'll close this. I remember I improvised it a lot in the next. So I'll show you that one. In this one, I believe the output was nice. Yeah, so it's what I had in mind when I was trying for birds 5 but it messed up badly so in birds 6.01 I had to make some huge adjustments to obtain this it's nothing but uh, a little bit use of numpy and a lot use of opencv for transformation of image and thresholding numpy to obtain some equations and the deviations uh, to play with the coordinate I have used numpy so point to be noted numpy and opencv is used and finally we applied the entire image processing to the live input camera feed on simulation for the purpose we use draws and gazebo for simulating the results and applied pid on the measurements that we obtained and with a few adjustments we did great in the the simulation did great and was a success